Hi, my name's Lauren Quinn. I'm 32 years old, or 33. My birthday just passed. I'm from Chicago. This here is my boyfriend, Steve Johnson, better known as the Forsaken Warrior. I started athletics at a young age. I was nine years old, and I played summer ball, baseball, softball, which led to school leagues and other sports. But I got into weight training when I was 14. I was a freshman in high school, I was a skinny girl, and I thought if I got bigger and stronger, I'd be a better athlete. I was really skinny, but I definitely had muscle tone. I always tell people that it runs my family. My brother's sisters were all jacked and tan. <laughs> and even as a skinny girl, I was still somewhat athletic. I could do push-ups, pull-ups, climb the rope. I was a fast runner. So the potential was there. I just had to really work at developing it. I think lifting became my thing after I graduated high school. My graduation gift was a Bally's membership. I loved it, I went every day, I was obsessed. And when I started going to college and I had so much free time, I uh, used weight training to, to fill that time and it just kept growing, I just loved it. Yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes yeah, we'll be working on the same things, especially if it's accessory work. Um, other times we'll just be at the gym together. He'll be over there doing, you know, whatever is programmed for him and I'll be doing my programming because at the end of the day, he's a power lifter and I'm more of a bodybuilder. Yes, I'm currently training to compete in women's physique. And you're trying to do? I'm trying to become a pro. I'm trying to become a pro. It is true that women do tend to get um, yeah, negative attention for being muscular or for being strong. People tend to immediately say, she must be on steroids, she's taking testosterone, you know, she's not natural, and, or, or critiquing a woman's form, like a, maybe an overly exaggerated arch on a bench press, for example, like, oh, yeah, I can lift that weight if I moved it two inches. They're always finding a reason to like, make an excuse of why that woman looks the way she looks or performs the way she performs. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me feel bad sometimes or kind of hurt, but I know that those people, they don't know me, they don't know shit about me, they don't know the struggles I went through, how long I've been training, and I mean, then I don't know who they are. I don't give a shit. It's not like you started lifting yesterday. You've been doing no that. shit. And I didn't start lifting to impress anybody. I want to be a good athlete, and I am a good athlete, and I'm very proud of that. My family is very supportive. As I mentioned, my brother and my two sisters also lift um, and compete, although not in bodybuilding, but Olympic lifting, CrossFit. Um, my one sister went to college on a volleyball scholarship, so my parents are definitely used to our our obsessions and they they back me on anything. They really believe in me and they're they're happy, they're proud also that their kids and that their daughters can be strong not only physically but you know mentally, emotionally and a lot of that is correlated. I am um, I meant to do this. I not at first, not at first. At first it was all about just being stronger for my sports, but when I saw results, it was like, oh my God, yes, I want more of this, I want more of this. And I just, I, like I said, I like it. I like being muscular. Um, I don't think I'm overly big by any means. When I lift and get pumped up, sure, sometimes I look massive, but then it all kind of like just comes back down a little bit. And you know, what I think about myself is that because I've been training so long that I feel like me being muscular is is just, a, it's normal for me, and it's kind of like, I feel like what my body wants and how, given my genetics, my body kind of would have gone, even if I didn't train as intensely. Um, I, you know, when she goes to the, I don't join her in fasted cardio all the time, so the days that she's off doing fasted cardio, I'll wake up, and then when she gets home, I'll make sure, you know, her meal's prepped for her, her breakfast, you know, have breakfast. Um, I know, like, all the measurements of egg whites and, you know, to whole eggs and, you know, the um, cream of rice and shit <laughs> yes. that she's eating right now. Um, and then just help her cook and package everything, so. He's very helpful. Very and then making supportive. sure she gets to the gym when she doesn't feel like she wants to lift that day. Uh, when she's on stage, I'm like, you know, the, uh, 
a crazy boyfriend. You know, I got my cameras out. I'm telling everyone around me that's my girlfriend, you know, <laughs> uh, just cheering her on and just, you know, bodybuilding shows, they really like keep the athletes protected from the rest of everyone you else, you know? So I can't like come and see her, make sure she's doing okay or she's relaxed. So I'm just, you know, hoping everything goes good and can't wait to see her. And then, you know, when I do see her, I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl, you know, <laughs> and then I can't wait to see her when she comes back out. Yeah, I do try to focus on the positivity of it, both what I um, receive and what I put out there. Um, it is it is more uplifting when a woman compliments me because I feel like it's more genuine. I feel like there's not like a, you know, sexual uh, undertone to it. <laughs> and I know, well, yeah. <laughs> and I, I know there are women who probably think like I'm too big and I might be scary or gross to them or like, oh, she has nice legs, but oh, her, she, look at her muscular chest or her traps. So again, whatever it is, I like it, I'm happy. But it's, uh, it means a lot to me when, when women come up to me, um, younger girls, I try to give them any kind of like inspiration or advice that I think would be helpful and uh, it just makes me feel good and makes me want to keep going. What I would want people to understand is that what I do is my lifestyle, my choice. I'm not coercing anyone else to do what I do or believe what I believe, but that a person's passions and endeavors, whatever they may be in the gym, career, family, that if you, know, if you don't like it, don't look. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say squat. I can be found on Instagram at the original fit girl. That's original underscore uh, fit girl, all one word. I came up with that because I've been in the game so long. I felt like I am kind of an OG. Yeah, so hit me up on there, check me out. Got any questions? You know, I, t I like to answer them as best I can. Steve, any parting shots for any of the people in the comment section that might say something negative? I'm gonna fucking kill you. That's. <laughs> 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 yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks.